everybody, it's me, Carrie Marshall, and I'm here yet again with another special guest star. Today we have Terry Nichols, who is joining us from where, Terry? North Town Village over in Spring Lake Park. In Spring Lake Park. I always get Spring Lake Park and Spring Park confused with each other. And, you know, now I, get I live in. next to Spring Park, so I don't think I'm going to get that confused anymore. So, that's good. I get the initials messed up with... Um... SLP is oh. also St. Louis Park, St. and I was in St. Louis Park, so I always mess it up. Yeah, so SLP, St. Louis Park, Spring Lake Park, Spring Park, so many, so many parks, right? Oh. Uh, so Terry is joining us today. We're going to talk to her a little bit about her role with REE and then uh, some other fun stuff that we have to chat about. And of course, it is coffee time, right, Terry? <laughs> yes. Coffee? Yes. Okay, yes, good. I, I have five watts. Oh! Coffee. Called the busy beaver and if nobody's tried five watt you are missing out you need to go there are there are four locations and they all have different um coffees but they roast their own coffee sell their own coffee amazing somebody so just we'll try told me about that somebody just told me Pardon? about that recently and like they were talking about oh i just got five watt coffee and i did not know oh. so it's like a chain kind of it is a chain, but they do now sell it in Lunds and Cup. It's a, it's the best coffee in the cities, and I've tried all the cities. I could go on and on and on about this. I'm not even kidding you. You want to know about the best coffee in the cities? Give me a call. All right. So this Friday night brought to you by Five Watt Coffee. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to tell them this. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't do any product placement, but I'm not. But. I'm going to have to check out the Five Watt situation because that sounds really good. Okay, it's so good. we're going to start out with announcing last week's winner and sure. so last week I asked um the question was what who is the company that takes care of our call centers on sites and the answer was Yardy and super funny because the person that got this right they emailed me with the correct question and in the email it said I'm way too late for this like thinking they that they didn't win but she was the first one, actually, that got back to me. So she won. And who is it? Um, Angie Matusek. Angie Matusek has won the $25 gift card at Target. Good job, Angie. So the Yardy Thank Call you. Center yeah. is our um, is what we use. And as you may or may not know, every time that someone calls you and you're on the other line, it should roll over to the call center. And then when you're off after hours, it should also roll over to the call center. They're the ones that place... Um, those emergency phone calls to our maintenance staff if um, something happens when we are not in the office. Because I know you all probably want to just be there 24 hours a day answering the phone and taking care of fires and floods and all that stuff. But don't you, Terry? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm waiting. We yep. should, <laughs> we yeah, should just all, cancel it then. <laughs> Let's just cancel the call center. Who needs it? Yeah, I know. I can do it. I'm right here. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her five watt coffee. She is ready to go. Got the right. phone. I'm good to go. Okay. <laughs> Give this lady a raise. Okay. So, um, I wanted to talk about too what our question of the week is coming up, and okay. so she's gonna. So Terry's gonna share that with us. But first, before we talk about the question of the week, I did want to. I went to this conference um, this week in San Antonio, Texas, for the other yeah. company that we. I split my time with, which is Elite Destination Homes, which is owned by. Um, by Bill. And so, um, so that was a really fun conference and I got some swag when I was there and I, I, I think that I'm going to share it with everyone. Yeah, so, let me see them. so I think I'm going to not, I'm going to give these things away to the people that want these. So if you want, if you want one of these things that I'm showing, you just have to email me and be the first one to ask for it. And I will, um, mail it out right. to you when I'm in corporate the next time. Okay. So we've got number one piece of swag, a yo-yo. And you have a yo-yo, but look, it's a lighted yo-yo. You see that? It's lighted. Well, it only lights if you do it right, right? I don't know how to do a yo-yo, so if you're better at this than me, then... So if you want this yo-yo, email me. This would be okay. a great office uh, fun gift. Okay, second second prize that I will mail out to you is the this little pen. Oh, I love that. Oh, my goodness, that's cute. It's from um, an insurance company that that company works for. Okay. Ready? These ones are awesome though, and you can you can email me too. Uh, I'm going to when it, when you send it out. I'm sending it out. Look at this. It's a it's a face mask. Actually, that's cool. And it says property manager solves problems you didn't know you had in ways you can't understand. We should all have one of those actually. I know. That's Isn't that cool? Great. 
So there's that yeah. one. And then I have a second one. Um, it says, don't make me use my property manager voice. <laughs> so if you guys want these, just be the first person and tell me which one you want. I'd be the first person to answer. So we've got this cute little pen with this little furry head, the yo-yo, lighted yo-yo, and then the two masks. And be specific about which one you want, and I will mail those out to you. So, all oh, right. Cute. Cool. Um, so tell me about the question of the week. Oh, the question of the week is, what page is the most visited page on Real Estate Equity's website? Okay. So... We get the Google Analytics um, reports each, you know, each month when we're meeting with the marketing uh, company that we work with. And there is one page on our website that gets the most visits every single um, month. And so it's kind of a weird page to get a lot of views, but it does consistently bring in the most traffic to our website. So I would encourage you to go to our website, check it out kind of scour through all the different pages and just take a guess of which of our pages you think gets the most traffic that brings in the most traffic from people that are searching for things on Google. So um, it's kind of tricky though. Just take Do we guess. have any clarifying questions or hints? Like, do you mean property websites? Do you mean stuff about the mm -hmm. website itself? Okay, I'll give you a hint. That's a good question. Um, it, does, it is not a property page. Okay, good. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a property page. It's some other page that's on their website. And I'm just curious as if you can, I, I have a feeling no one is going to get it right, but because it's so weird. It's a really weird reason that people come to our website. It's super weird. So yeah. good question. Okay. So Terry, yes. so Terry, how long have you worked with us? I have been here since June uh, 15th of 2020. Okay, 2000. So she came on literally right in the midst of COVID. I know the day. I know. The day. <laughs> it was like literally COVIDville all over this planet. Yes. yes, it was. Yes, it was. And I remember you were just a lifesaver, like just coming in when we had lost our manager and and Northtown was just needed some love. And you came in and you're you were have a lot of experience and a great attitude and obviously very capable. And we were just so thankful that you came on. I remember, I remember that day very well. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So tell me about what, um, how you got into property management, and then kind of about uh, how you came to be at Real Estate Equities too. Of like, what was your journey into making it to us, and how did you get into property management? This is tricky. So um, my family owns real estate um, property management uh, company and real estate company down in Kenosha from Wisconsin. And that's where I'm from, all the way down right by Chicago. And they own Grace um, Real Estate and um, Parish Properties, Parish Real Estate Properties, I believe it is, or Properties, whatever. But um, so I grew up in it. My stepdad was the facilities director for 500 properties, um, yeah, like kind of doing what Jeremy does, but their properties were more like duplexes or threeplexes or some of most of them were commercial, like massive commercial properties and stuff like that. So when I, um, you know, graduated high school, got married, had kids, they would move me into a property that they buy and they would just completely remodel and I'd just be in charge of like three apartments. It's, it's nothing. You yeah. know, I'm like, hey, I need my stepdad over here, my my um dad over here to fix things and stuff like that. And then I moved up north and my stepdad died. So they closed the businesses down, started selling things because he was, you know, the, it was a hard call for them. So I accidentally stepped into property management when I moved into a brand new luxury apartment complex in Eau Claire. It was a um, young adult youth luxury apartment complex. So I moved in and there's kids out in the hallway sleeping having disco balls hanging in the hallway of a brand new apartment complex that I'm paying $1,700. So I'm like, huh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm ready to buy a house. I'm going to go buy a house. So I emailed them and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. <laughs> you either hire me or let me out of my lease. And they hired me. You said was, hire me or let me out of my lease? Because you're like, hire me to fix this problem. I totally thought they would let me out of the lease, you know, because whatever. No, they hired me because they did a background check and saw that my family did it and all that. I was like, oh, that's great. 
But it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I loved living with the college kids because it was basically all college kids. It was it was so wonderful to be with them for four years and watch these kids come in and graduate and become doctors, nurses, lawyers, uh, many dental hygienists, um, physical therapists. <laughs> I have two residents at this property where I'm at right now that were my residents over there. I love them. That's so, so cool. What it was, it was, that was, was that, what city was that in then? That was in Eau Claire. I was in Eau Claire. Okay. But you have, you have residents right now that were your residents yes. then? That's a resident walk in. I'm like, you look familiar. He's like, so do you. Were you the, where are you from? And I'm telling them and we're going there. And I'm like, you what? How did I did not meet you? I've actually had to do interviews online because I had a journalist in my pro on my property, and she was super impressed with all the um, the things that we had going on. We had study groups and everything like that going on. She stuck it on TV, and I'm like, huh, maybe people didn't get involved, but I love the residents. It was like having like 50 to 100 kids of your own, and they were all aiming for one direction, to graduate, to keep them going. And so it was a lot of fun. I really loved that property. That is so cool. That's a really cool story because that was like, you know, living in a different state. It's so funny when you were like, well, I moved up north. Well, like to Minnesotans, we think that's Duluth or Brainerd. But like when you say you moved up north, it was to Eau Claire because you're from Wisconsin. Right. Right. Okay. Well, the no shows down by Chicago. <laughs> so that's a 250. And trust me when I say that's a cultural shock. <laughs> Down there by Chicago to, you know, backwoods Wisconsin is a shock. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it was a definitely an adjustment, but I raised my kids there and I, my kids were in that um, environment in a college dorm, basically what it was like, you know, a luxury apartment. And they were dealing with only college and it was really a wonderful experience for my children as well. So they grew up, I don't think I have four of them in college right now, or have graduated and they have, you know, either doctorates or really, really good degrees. And it was because they didn't have no one else around them to give them other ideas. It yeah. wasn't a choice to them or idea to not want to do this. And I, I 100% obviously, suggest that to anybody raising kids by themselves, but it was a really good experience. That is super cool. That is a super cool story. Yeah. And we always, it's always interesting to hear how people end up in property management because it's for some reason, usually not on purpose or they happen to stumble upon it or you didn't even know that that was a career. And I hear a lot like, <laughs> oh, they asked me to file, start filing on a Wednesday. And then, you know, then the property manager quit the next day. And then the next thing you know, I was the property manager and kind of learned by fire. You hear that so many times in our industry. Well, I just learned by fire. <laughs> you know, because I'd never dealt with a college property or a brand new luxury apartment. Yeah. But it was wonderful because I came in. I mean, I could literally tell by the way the building breathes what was wrong. I'm like, oh, that, that was that was an air conditioner upstairs. It was you brand know new. It was a brand new development. It was brand new. Oh, okay. Brand yeah. New. So you got to know that baby from the, the birth. <laughs> Oh. Hard. I knew what was going on. I was dealing with parent. I had dealt with um, the Minneapolis police chief's daughter for four years. Totally. It was like I had kids from all over the country. Oh, all I over suppose because the they were coming in for to go to school in Eau Claire. OK, yep. that makes sense. Opera is in there and everything. It was wonderful. So you're the property manager at Northtown Village. Tell us a little bit about Northtown Village because we have, you know, there's some people that are from Indiana that will be watching or Wisconsin that maybe don't know a lot about Northtown Village or maybe even just some managers that we have or some employees. So tell us about Northtown Village, kind of where it's at, what kind of neighborhood it's in, what kind of a clientele does it generally serve? Um, what are the apartments like? I'm just curious. The apartment, I think they're beautiful apartments. I'm not even going to lie. They're, um, the two bedrooms are a 950. The one bedroom is 750. Um, there are seven buildings. There's a pool. Um, there are garages in the back. And this is sitting on like a square block or, I don't know, square mile or something like that. There is nothing on this block mm -hmm. except universities running right next to it. So there is a, a church behind us. And then behind us is a hockey park mm -hmm. and a skate park and a tennis park and a football field and all that. So there's nothing around. Nothing in in the sense of right on this block. It is yeah. literally by itself. So it kind of looks like a park when you're driving by at first. Um, but it is a nice property. It needed some work, and we're still working on it. <laughs> but it, it it's a nice property. It's a quiet property. Um, I don't get a, like serious issues in here. You know, other than what everybody else is dealing with on their properties. You know, like what is it? Crime. The normal. The, the normal stuff. Yeah. See, that's really what it is. And what I do see is it's. People who are moving here are people coming from like Coon Rapids and Blaine and further out mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so they want to live here closer to the city so that they go that way work and then go that way to, you know, they want to be in between. That's what I see coming here or a much more retired uh, generation is yep. in here. So I have people who've been here since 1971. Yeah, you have a lot of long term residents there. Like, so I, th I think there was somebody that's been there for like 30 years or something. I remember. That's yeah. older than me. Yeah. <laughs> they know everything. And and those are those guys are the fun people because they'll tell you what's wrong, where, and what's been going wrong. And that's actually really string, extremely help, helpful because we actually didn't know there were sump pumps in some of these apartments. And oh, he knew and, it. and the resident actually told you? The resident knew it. I was like, what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I called Jeremy right away. I'm like, Jeremy, we need to replace these because nobody knew they were on it. Then I stuck them right on that database. I'm like, look, <laughs> Whoever comes after me, you need to know this about, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's really, they're really wonderful people to talk to because that's then so I cool. can. That's really cool. That's like, that. that's cool to have a long-term residence. means that you're obviously doing something right there. Um, so tell me about, did you win an award at REE, didn't you? Yes. Tell me about I that. Did. I won the integrity where I literally cried when I got that. You did? <laughs> oh. it, it meant a lot because, yeah. you know, you you want to deal with a lot of things with a lot of integrity without a lot of moral and there are a lot of things that you're dealing with as a property manager that test everything you're doing mm -hmm. and it's hard to focus on the right thing if everything's coming at you and yep. that was um really a big deal to me it meant a lot so the integrity award at our REE -E annual awards if you've not been with us long enough to know what that is so um so you won the integrity award and we give out awards for each of our uh company values the four values that that we have and so integrity um uh, was the one that terry was awarded with um and you'd only been with us not very long but i think you just really yeah. impressed um the leadership team for sure of just you know how you've managed that property and really helped to turn it around um when we were kind of struggling during uh covid and and so yeah and so so terry is there with her leasing agent who is irene and who else works with you there we have Irene, and then we have part-time caretakers. We have Thomasine, we have Calvin, we have Nusli, and we have Andreas, which is Irene's husband. Okay. We have Joe, our tech, and then we're looking for another lead tech. How long has Joe been with us, the maintenance tech? Joe has been here 15 years. 15 years, okay. Yeah. Um, and I've gotten a chance to meet him as well. We're currently doing an office remodel with you, which we're working on. Yes. Right now, um, they had some new carpet put in and painted all their trim white, and it just looks really awesome. So it's kind of a blank slate for us to go in there and start uh, decorating. We're excited about that. Um, so are we. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really fun. So tell me about um, kind of like what you do for fun. I know a little bit about you. I know some. we share some hobbies, or, uh, obsessions, I should say. Uh, we yes, share we one obsession, which is plants. Yes. Yes, we do. I am a plant nut. I have owned, um, at one time I had 150 different plants, kumquat trees, lemon trees, bird of paradise that was um, 30 feet. I've had, had hibiscus, you name it. I have a sequoia growing in my house right now. <laughs> she has a sequoia growing in her house right now. Yes, I do. I got a jade plant that is four feet tall and four feet wide. It will not go through my apartment door. It is staying when I move. Well, and, so, you, and you have some inside knowledge about like so if you ever want like a plant and get it for yes. cheap, talk to Terry because she has some connection, some connections, I, some plant connections. I do, like, I do. Like Guido on the corner, you know, like she's got those kind of connections, but for plants, you know. I do, I do. The the um the buyer for Cub Foods, um, for the florist section, she sells her plants on on the side. And I got, oh my goodness, I got a monsteria. And if anybody knows what a monsteria is, I got it for 20 bucks. Yes. And it's four feet tall. Yeah, no, I'm not Talk saying to Terry now. if you need yeah. a plant on the black market. No, it's not really on the black market. I'm just kidding. Just it's not really. Sorry, I'm just, just joking. I'm so what else do you, do you do anything for fun? Like anything else besides your obsession with plants? I love to hike. Um, we so we do a lot of hiking. Um, my last massively big hike was we backpacked straight across um Isle Royale, and that is um over there in Lake Superior, and mm -hmm. that was a trip. What did you was call it? The what? Isle Royale, we backpacked straight across that thing. Okay. That is that is fun, you know, fun. Um, through the rain, pouring rain for two days, I am telling you, and it's all rock. So you're just like sliding, falling, you know, after two hours of this, I'm chanting. I'm like, I want a hamburger. I want a cheeseburger. Please, I want a <laughs> handmade lemonade with real cane juice. I mean, I'm serious. That was, that was my mantra 
for hours. I, I left there bruised. I lost 15 pounds in three days. Do you, Kids so you're hiking like with a backpack and like a tent in your backpack? Yes. That, okay. So actual real hiking. Okay. Yes. It, and do you have, but not like you, uh, you have, must have really good boots, hiking boots, I guess. I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. I need to yeah. get, I need to pick your brain about that. Cause I, I, I want to start hiking. I think that would be a really cool thing. So, but I, I know I need to get some good boots because I've heard some pretty terrible horror stories about getting the wrong kind of boots. And then you're like in a lot of trouble when you start hiking and yeah. breaking them well, in I, and all that stuff. Minnesota has some of the best city parks and not, not so much parks, but nature preserves. Oh my goodness. Every city has an amazingly beautiful nature preserve. I mean, I've hiked them all. They're not that huge, yeah. but they're beautiful. But um, you do have some wonderful parks here and to go hiking and to go, you know, exploring. And, and it is, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm going to always love Wisconsin, but our parks are nowhere near. I can near tell like. because when you talk about Minnesota, you say, you guys, you people, I know. you people I have good parks here. She has not assimilated to us yet, apparently. <laughs> She's still a Wisconsin girl, as are many of our employees, because we have so many people from Wisconsin. Even that still live in Wisconsin and work at real estate equity. Yeah, too, that's so. true. Vivian and a couple others. Shannon's from Wisconsin. Yep. Shout out Sizzle. to all our Wisconsin peeps. And Jeff. And Jesse is too. Yeah, and I, believe I think Stephanie is originally from Wisconsin, but then I'm not sure about who else. I know there's a couple other Wisconsinites that uh, work for us. So you're in good company. Um, so, okay. Tell us one weird fact about you before we go. We want to hear one weird thing about you. Weird. Like what you want to know? Um, anything. What I, anything. Okay. Do we want to do the mermaid thing? Sure. Well, okay. So if I could come back in another life and be something else, and if that was real, I would want to be a mermaid. Why? I, I want to be a mermaid. Why? Um, because they can swim. <laughs> And they're beautiful, and I'm a redhead, and I, I grew up right across the street from the Port of Kenosha. So we would always go on the beach as kids, and we'd be over there swimming, trying to be a mermaid. It's just stuck with me all my life. So you want to be I, reincarnated as a mermaid because... Oh, my goodness, yes. You just like... Yes. Do you like the water a lot? Like, is that something... I like okay. I do. I, water is a fascinating thing. It's a whole other world, literally. you It's a whole different environment that is, is massively interesting, and, yeah. and we have no ex way to explore it without getting killed True. you know i mean but if you were a mermaid you could right. you could totally explore all those things yeah yes and that's i can what I see think you favorite. like in an aerial costume and just singing <laughs> singing the song you know like part of their world like that one you know? oh that's my favorite song <laughs> <laughs> awesome well thank you terry for spending time with us at uh, the You're friday welcome. nag and remember to answer that question that we asked uh, which I probably I can't even remember what it was now because it's been so long since we talked about it. What web page is the most visited web page for our EE? And yeah. it is not a Yeah. So answer that question and then um, be the first to answer with the correct answer. And just honestly, just keep taking stabs at it because just keep emailing um, with different <laughs> answers because eventually you're going to get it right. But it's the first person that has the right answer. I guarantee this is going to be a really hard one. And people, a lot of people are going to get it wrong. And, and Terry, you don't know the answer, so you can also participate. But you just can't email until after it's published, right? Well, I'm going to go visit the website and see what draws my attention. And I kind of know what normally does so because I visit it at least once or twice a week. Yeah. And I'm, I'm curious. We'll have to see. And if you want any of these goodies that we... Uh, that we are giving away. Don't forget to email me for these and you're welcome to email me for that too, Terry. Um, so I wanted to remind everybody about the Halloween costume oh, yeah. contest that is coming up. So if you and your team dress up in costumes or you want to just decorate your office, maybe you're not like the dressing up type. Um, maybe you're not going to be a mermaid like Terry. Just kidding. <laughs> um, what do you mean? And just, you know, even if you're just going to dress up by yourself or you can't get your team to dress up because some, let's just face it, some of your teams are curmudgeons and then they're, they're not going to dress up. <laughs> um, you can still uh, participate by sending a photo of just yourself. If you're the only weirdo that wants to dress up, that's fine. If you want to do a theme, a uh, costume theme, then do that and send in the photo to me by November 5th. I'm just giving you like a week after Halloween because I know things get busy. So take that photo uh, and send those to me. And then um, the leadership team is actually going to judge those uh, and they're going to decide by vote who uh, gets all of the prizes in the con in the contest. So, so thank you, Terry, for participating. And I hope that you yep. get to be a mermaid one day. That's my wish for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's a wonderful one. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.
See ya. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.